So guys, I'm coming to you today way, way, way south from Tennessee. So far south, as a matter of fact, I'm almost in Miami, Florida. So you might be saying, Tanner, what are you doing in Florida? Well, you already know I'm going to be building some ponds. Who are we building ponds for? Well, YouTube legends, Zach Ketchum, Ketchum All Fishing, Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, Franklin from Raw Fishing. Guys, they're all getting aquascape this week. We got stuff going on for deer meat for dinner down here this week. I can't even, I don't even know who, I, we got like six ponds going in the ground this week. But I'm down here right now just driving around, killing time. I got here a little early. You know I like to get to places early. And I came across this bromeliad farm. And the name of this farm is Sunshine Bromeliads. And Josefa Leon started this. I forget how many years ago. She said like 30 years ago. And I don't even know much about bromeliads. All I can tell you is if you look around here, they're everywhere. And the reason that I'm infatuated with them is because bromeliads were actually one of the first plants that I ever kept. My grandfather passed away in November of 2013. You know when someone dies, how everybody wants to buy plants and they got all those flowers by the casket and all this stuff? Well, when they were asking me if I wanted any of those plants to take home, I never had a plant in my life up to this point, guys. And uh, I picked the, the, it was an orange bromeliad, so it was green and it had a big orange shoot coming out of the middle of it. And I was so ignorant about plants, which I probably still am, maybe not as ignorant, but pretty close. And I wanted to get that one because it, it looked tropical to me, kind of looked exotic. And I actually thought that it was a bird of paradise plant. So I was telling everybody about this bird of paradise plant that I had and how excited that I was to have it and how I needed to keep it inside and all this stuff. And some lady on Facebook one day, she's like, Tanner, that's not a, a, a bird of paradise. That is a bromeliad. So after she corrected me, I started reading up on bromeliads and was really interested in how they, you know, hold water down inside of them here. And anyway, let me flip it around and show you some of these different bromeliads she's got here. Some of these things are just spectacular. Check this out. I don't see a lot that are currently in bloom, so to speak, but look at some of these amazing colors that are available and it just makes me sick coming in here and seeing all these plants in Florida, guys. You guys get access to so many cool things. These spaghetti agaves, man, I wish I could keep this uh, back home, but I'd have to bring it in in the winter. Check that out. It looks like a pine tree that's actually an agave. The same type of agave that you would see uh, out west, Nevada, and the drier climates. They get big and fat, you know, like the big, huge aloe vera looking plants. So that's just a spaghetti version. Let's just walk down through here and check out some of these other colors that we see. So you can easily see all the greens and yellows and these specific and this particular species here. And if you go right here, it's all more of pinks and purples. Then if you go over here, you got greens mixed in amongst the greens and purples. Look how pink some of these are right here. I mean, it's just a it's just a sea of color all the way across through here, guys. Have you ever seen so many bromeliads? I know you haven't if you live anywhere around where we, where we live in Chattanooga, Tennessee, Cleveland, Tennessee area because, you know, they're just not going to grow that well there. They will in the summer once again. Look how green these are. Here, let's go look around right now and see if we can find uh, any lizards. Look close, guys. Let's see if I can get close to him without spooking him. Ah! Found another one right here. <laughs> oh, and check out this little lizard right here. Oh, if I can get a close up of him. He's got a little bit of skin still on his face. Oh, he's not gonna let me touch him, that's for sure. I mean, you can easily go from the stripe variations to a more solid color then we get right here and look at all these speckled ones right here guys check that out i wish i could just pick out about a hundred of them right now ship them all back to my house in cleveland tennessee play them all outside around that pond that i've got going and watch them flourish but when i left cleveland this morning and got on the airplane in chattanooga i had my hood on it was so cold and right now my jacket's over there in the rental car, and I'm walking around here sweating to death. Man, look at some of these colors. 
And those plants that I was telling you about that I got from my grandfather's funeral, those plants are still alive. So I've kept those plants alive now. So this is, he died November the 20th, 2013. Five years now, guys. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of that. But, um, but where they had the big orange shoot out of them, that's no longer with us. I actually broke that one time whenever Stacy and I were moving. But they've had lots of babies. But she was just sharing with me that there's a chemical that I can get. And I mix it with water. Put like a tablespoon in there with it. And it will cause those things to shoot out again. So before I leave here, I'm going to go over there and ask her again. And see if she'll share with me the name of that stuff that I can buy. And put in that. And see if I can get those things to sprout up. Those pretty orange shoots again like they did in the past. I was just talking to another landscaper back here behind me. She was sharing with me lots of information about local plants here in Florida and different types of bromeliads. And we were looking at some over there. Let me just go over here and show you real quick because I have never seen any bromeliads do this right here. Check this out. I don't know if I can do it. Look at, look how purple that is. And then look, look right here, guys. Look how this is like branching out like a limb off a tree. Then you got baby bromeliads right here at the top. All my bromeliads at home, like they'll have babies right there at the base but i've never seen them shoot limbs out like this so i want to go over here because i found some that's got blooms check this out wow this is the coolest freaking plant oh i want to go over there and look at those i just see something i gotta look at here's the blooms guys check this out this is what i was talking about so whenever my grandfather passed away i had one similar to this it was orange and I got it rather large actually. And then one day I was I was changing it to another pot, putting it in a bigger pot. And whenever I turned it over to get the plant out, I accidentally broke the bloom out of it. So I just replanted the base here. And that's had many babies. But since that has happened, I've never had another one bloom yet. So all of mine back home, and I've probably got a dozen at least. And I had these pink ones and I had an orange one. So the only ones I have are pink and orange. and But I haven't had a bloom since. So I, I want to ask her. She is the, la the lady that started it. I just told you about That's her daughter right over there. This is the lady that started it. I was, I was talking about you in the video a minute ago. And I was trying to say what you guys were telling me about what you could put in there to make them bloom. But I couldn't remember. Cyania. Cyania. How many years do you have this place now? How many? How many years? The... Quantos años? See. Si. 30 something. 30 something years. I'm, I'm 36. Uh, yeah. hey, uh, ¿Cómo se dice? 36? 36. 36. Yeah. Posible 35, 36. <laughs> yeah, your, your place is beautiful though. Yeah, sí, like I said, I live in Tennessee. I never see stuff like this. And I, and, oh, that's your house down there? Well, and, and I was telling people here watching the video, this is Sunshine Bromeliads. And, and you are... Josefa Leon, correct? Correct, correct. Josefa Leon. Josefa Leon. My, and my name's Tanner Flowers, but in Spanish, all my Spanish friends call me Tanner Flores. <laughs> they, they say Flores. So, I love these colors. Cyanese is very nice. It's smelling so good. These? Yeah. It's smelling the flower, the, the purple flower. Wow. And when... And it's okay that I film this, right? Do you care if I film if I film this, the video? Is it okay with you? I don't know. My English is so little. <laughs> yes, I uh -oh. no problem. Your babies. No problem. No, problem. no I have succulents too, so <laughs> those will make babies, right? Oh, it is fresh, huh? Oh, that's nice. Look how pretty that is. In the morning is stronger? The morning and the smell is so good. She's saying in the morning, guys, the smell from this is a lot stronger than it is in the evening. Yeah, very, very good. And do you have a website? Do you have a website on the internet? On the computer? On the computer? Is there a website? I'll, I'll ask her if there's a... Because I'll tell the people in the video where they can go see the... <laughs> I want to go look at some of those over there. Okay. Gracias. Wow, wow, wow. I've never seen so many different species. Oh, look at these colors here. Look at that, guys. So, I didn't come down here expecting to do a plant video or a nursery video or a bromeliad farm video. You know, I'm come down here strictly to do pond stuff, but 
guys a lot of you don't know I really like plants I really like trees and look at these air plants here I mean you're just I just this is just stuff that I don't get to see all the time back home any of you guys that live further south down here closer to Florida well you guys get to see it all the time this is the one I was wanting to look at over there I, I like that one check that out but we don't get to see it back home I mean if you go to Lowe's right now back home we got some Christmas trees out and a couple outdoor plants but the garden center is pretty much just excuse me it's pretty much bare so oh let me go back here and look at some of these these here almost have a white coloration to them let me see if I can back up and get more of them in the shot to show you I don't know if those colors are coming through on the camera or not for you it's pretty sunny out here but look this way guys just look as far as you can see nothing but beautiful exotic bromeliads so that is so cool. A sea of plants. You guys have got to see how pink this one is. Look at this, guys. Look at that. It doesn't even look real. Look how pink. Oh, I hope that's coming through. Look at it compared to my hand. Look at it against my, against my black shirt. God, look how funny this shirt is. Please don't take this the wrong way. But we'd love to grind on that thing for you. <laughs> ClevelandTNStumpGrinding.com, guys. Hit us up with all your stump grinding needs. I'll have more of our Get the Beaver shirts on the rest of the week. So I'm supporting our stump grinding services today. Let me go back up here and talk to them again one more time. See if I can find out that information about what I need to put inside these things to make them uh, bloom like we were talking about earlier. Here, I'll go up here and see if I can't pick their brains a little bit more. Hang on a second. And now I'm sitting here, guys, with Maria. And we're looking at some of the different arrangements that our mother's been making. And she says that she makes every single one of these arrangements. And I'm going to flip it around and show you these things in detail because they are exquisite. You'll see the bromeliad up top. Look at some of this moss that she's got it set inside here. And how she's got that attached to that tree. She's got air plants all around it. Check that out. More bromeliads and their moss pockets right here. Going down into the pot at the bottom. More driftwood pieces here. And Maria said it's her mother makes every single one of these things that you're seeing here. So all the stuff that you're seeing. Yosefa that was just over there talking to on the golf cart a minute ago. She has done every bit of this that you see. We've got a lot of these guys in our lizard tanks back home in our aquariums. That stuff is thriving back home in my tanks inside the aquariums. And Maria told me don't put this camera on her, but she says you guys can all get online right now and go to sunshinebromeliads.com and you'll be able to see, can they order online? Do you, yeah. Guys, yeah. They, you guys can order online, you ship anywhere in the country? They, except uh, California. They'll ship anywhere in the country, guys, except for California. So once again, I'll put the link in the description below. www.sunshinebromeliads.com. Tell them Tanner Flowers sent you, guys. Okay, guys, Maria is going back now with her golf cart. She's going to go back and see if she can find a bottle of that chemical that she's telling me about that her mother says that you can add to those bromeliads and it will make them bloom. I didn't want to leave here without getting that information because, like I said, I've got about a dozen of them back home that haven't bloomed in years. And if there's something that will make them sprout up those pretty blooms I was showing you back there, I definitely want to get some of it. So hang on a minute and we'll see what she says. So guys, Maria just brought this over here to me. This stuff is called Forel. So any of you guys that have bromeliads back home and maybe you've broken off one of the blooms or maybe the mother plant has died and you've got your baby pups and they don't have blooms yet. Well, Miss Yosef has been doing this for almost 40 years now. She says, take a little bit of this Forel, mix it with water and about how much you need to put? One tablespoon and a gallon. One tablespoon per gallon of water is all you need guys and it will make your bromeliads bloom once again so guys if you've enjoyed this video very impromptu video like I said it wasn't planned at all I almost hit the guardrail whipping it in here when I cut the u-turn to bring it in here so if you've enjoyed it guys don't forget to leave me a like comment below tell me what your favorite part was about the video tell me what colors are your favorite Do you guys like bromeliads as much as me do you guys like these Florida exotic plants do you wish we could have these plants back in Tennessee 
and please smash that subscribe button and stay tuned as we're going to be bringing you guys all some epic pond builds tomorrow stick with us and i was just about to get to get in the rental car here guys but dude look at the size of this agave can you guys tell uh, how big it is with me in front of it dude it's huge i can't even get it in the shot this thing is huge some of these killer i don't even know the name of them oh, i love that stuff but anyways guys we gotta get down the road let's go see if we can't find greg whitstock <laughs> 